and welcome to my Payday 2 video walkthrough for GameFAQs.com. Alright, today I'm going to be uh, going over inventory, skills, and a brief rundown on all the uh, heist via crime net. Alright, let's start off with skills. Alright, Mastermind. Starting off Mastermind, you will unlock the uh, medic, medic bag, which you if you have a uh, team of at least four people, well, at least two people, you might want to bring a medic bag, especially on overkill. Endurance will increase your stamina by 100%. This is a uh, one-point wonder, unless, you know, you want to be helpful. I just use it as a one-point wonder. Combat medic... Uh, 25% damage bonus after reviving your crew member for 10 seconds. That's not that good. Ace, however, receive 30% more health once you revive him. That could be good, but... Uh, it's just no. Cable guide. This is something everybody needs to take. Uh, not just not for the basic, but for the ace, you get an extra four cable ties every time. That is something that's incredible, and everyone needs that. It's just even for end game builds, that's something you you need. Okay, Inside Man reduces asset cost by 50%. Ace unlocks uh Inside Man assets. The inside man assets are escape driver and security card for uh, framing frame day one. They're possibly going to add more later on. I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. Fast learner gets you 15% more experience, and Ace gets you 30% uh, more experience. Oh, excuse me. Fast learner is possibly one of the best skills in the mastermind tree for leveling up. Otherwise, you don't want to take it. I don't have it here because I need my points for other things. Leadership. Uh, just increases stability with pistols. And ace all weapons. Eh. And that can be useful, I guess. Not really good, but not really bad. Better than combat medic. Dominator. Allows you to take one, and only one, per game. Unless you know the hostage is killed. One law enforcement officer, security guard, I don't know if it works with gangsters. One uh, of any of those, maybe not gangsters, hostage, one at a time. And, I don't know, do not take the ace, the ace pretty much is not, isn't good. Okay, equilibrium, increases your damage with accuracy with pistols, and decreases the time it takes to put, pull out and put away pistols, increases the fire rate. If you use pistols, it's good. Otherwise, there's better points. Better uses for points. Then we have Smooth Talker. You get four pagers instead of... Uh, four... Yeah. You can kill four security guards instead of two. This is incredibly useful. This and Dominator... With this and Dominator, you can uh, stealth things like Framing Frame, Big Oil, Bank Heist... It's overall a very good thing to have. Stockholm Syndrome. Every uh, hostage you have, you have a chance to, they have a chance to revive you if you interact with them, and they'll give you am ammunition. Kind of good, kind of, eh. Alright. Combat Doctor, you get two, two medic bags instead of one, and when it's ace, you have two more charges for your medic bags. This is something you need. This is definitely something you need if you're going to be helping out and bring out medic bags. Joker, you can convert non-special, uh, well, you convert the uh, law enforcement you take hostage with a uh, Dominator over to fight for your side, and Ace, they get 55% more health and 45% more damage. If you get the, uh, if you're able to talk down, uh, shout down one of the uh, 10 law enforcement officers, they are basically a bulldozer on your side. They will put out enough damage for you that you can uh, easily do whatever you need to do. Okay, moving on. Kilmer increases your reload speed with assault rifles and accuracy while moving with assault rifles. Oh, and run and reload. You can run and you can now reload we weapons while sprinting. That is useful. That right there is useful. The rest of these, eh? I don't even. I don't know if this has to be ace for this. Eh. 
Okay, Gunslinger, you can reload uh, pistols 50% faster, and you do 50% more damage with them. Again, if you're using pistols, good, but there are better perks, especially if you're using a silenced pistol, which we'll get to in the Ghost Tree. Black Marketeer, oh, just reduces costs. No, 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 no. Control Freak, noise created by you intimidates civilians, that's good. Civilians stay intimidated 50% longer. That's good. But it's not a good perk to take because it costs 12 points, and these two perks right over here are some of the best perks in the game. Pistol Messiah. When you go down, you can uh, revive yourself by shooting a single, uh, a single law enforcement officer. Well, killing him. You get one charge, and then two char uh, three charges after it's aced. Once you go into custody, your charges are reset. But basically, you can pick yourself up if you're stupid. And then possibly the best skill in the game, Inspire. When this is aced, oh, wait. Huh. Yeah, when this is aced, you can revive your crew members just by shouting at them instantly. 75% chance to do that? Yeah, it's good. Alright. Enforcer. Ammo bag, same as the doctor bag, except for ammo. It has enough ammo to replenish your weapons twice full weapons. Oppressor, your weapons generate more threat. Useful. Bullet Storm, combat medic of uh, Enforcer. Useless. Basically after you interact with your ammo bag, you get uh, five seconds of free ammo. Well, of infinite ammo. And then you get another five seconds, so ten percent se ten seconds more. Huh, I failed at this. Transporter, fifty percent faster carrying bags. You can throw bags fifty percent faster. Yeah, that's useful. Pumping iron, your melee do, does more damage. You shouldn't be meleeing. Underdog. Well, this is, is only if you're surrounded by enemies and you get 15% damage bonus and 15% less damage from enemies. You shouldn't be sur surrounded by enemies, <laughs> especially on higher difficulties. Die hard, you can use your primary weapon and bleed out. And then your armor recovers 15% faster. That is useful, right there. That is incredibly useful. Moving on, shotgun impact. Your weapon stability with all shotguns is increased by 25%, and then you deal 35% more damage. If you use shotguns, this is one of your going to be one of your favorite skills, even if you're going ghost shotty, which is kind of good, good build. It's a good skill. Stun resistance reduces the visual effect by of flashbangs by 25%, and then further by 50%. Before the most couple recent patches, I would have said this was a useless skill. I don't know if I got hit by a flashbang. I'm pretty sure I did in the uh, while recording. This is not a useless skill. This is one of the most. This is one of the best skills in the game, at this point. Because flashbangs suck. Tough guy reduces your camera shake by 50% when enemy, when damaged by enemy fire. Your bleed out health is increased by 25%. E better perks? Eh. And Forcer really shines at the next few tiers. Berserker, lower your health, the more damage you do. Eh. And then when your health is below 25%, you'll drop you will do up to 100 percent more damage with ranged weapons. Eh. It could be better. Ammunition specialist, same thing with the uh Dr. Bag. Upgrade, you get two more ammo bags, and they'll have 200% uh, more ammunition. It's a good one. And this is definitely one of the best ones. Shotgun QCB, C CQB. CQB? Yeah, whatever. Increases your shot shotgun reload by 50%. Increases the shotgun steel sight speed by tw on 25. And... You know what? Forget what I said. Take a uh, Berserker better uh, over this one. It's better than this. Card boiled increases your shotgun weapon accuracy by 20% when firing from the hip. Increases your weapon accuracy 20% when firing from the hip with all weapons. Yeah, that's not bad. This one gives you uh, more ammo capacity, and then enemies will drop 75% more ammunition. Yes. And the uh, one of the best things about the Enforcer, the portable saw. The saw will let you open doors. 
cut bars in framing frame, open the secret in framing frame, and open secure safety deposit boxes and ATMs. Don't use them for ATMs, that's what the ECM drivers are for now. And a lot of other good things. Portable saw is definitely something to take. Make sure to take the uh, ace and get the extra saw blade. Carbon blades uh, make your saw even better. Go ahead and take these. I wouldn't take the well the ace. Let's see, attacking enemies with the over nine thousand portable saw weighs it down fifty percent less. Yeah, I don't think I'd do the ace. Iron Man gives you the uh, heaviest armor in the game. And it also, uh, well, let's see, when you not, when you melee a shield, they get knocked back by the sheer force. I mean, shields are kind of, uh, mean in this game, so yeah, I'd ace it. And then overkill. When you kill an enemy using the shotgun or portable saw, you receive a 75% damage bonus for 5 seconds. And then it applies to all weapons. Skill must still be activated using a shotgun or this saw. Eh. It's better. Well, it's not that good, but... Eh, save points for something else. Technician. Unlocking it will get you the, uh... Trip mines, which... Are very useful. First one here, Rifleman, allows you to zoom 100% faster. And then zoom level increased by 25%, all with assault rifles. Eh. It's okay, I guess. Demolition Man increases your trip mine inventory and decreases your trip mine uh, deploy time. Definitely a must-have for uh, anyone using trip mines. There's a steal. You take 50% less damage with interacting with things. That's actually pretty good for a ghost. And you can use steel sight and bleed out. Again, that's pretty good for anything. Hardware Expert. You fix the drill 25% faster and you deploy trip mines 20% faster. That's good. Gives your drill an auto percent, uh, a 30 percent chance to auto restart when it breaks down. You also deploy the sentry gun 50 percent faster. I don't like how the uh, you, the deploy times because the deploy times aren't that aren't that long to begin with. But whatever. This is a this is necessary for an enforcer that's going down the drill path, which you should be going down the drill path. Combat Engineer allows you to turn the uh, trip mines on and off and go into sensor mode. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can't say what sensor mode does. I've never seen any of my technician friends use it. So, I have no uh, information on that. Sharpshooter, you are 50% more accurate with single sharp shot weapons. Your weapon stability is increased with all rifles by 25%. Okay, it's a good basic. If you need a point or so, just put it in this, or ba or a combat engineer, either one. Sentry gun! Sentry guns are... I don't want to say bad, but they're not the best. They were better in Payday 1. But, if you need a point, go ahead and put it in this. Improved crafting just reduces the price. You'll get a lot of money. No need for this. Drill Sergeant, your drilling efficiency is increased by 15%, and then another 15%. Yeah, your drill will go faster. Hands down, best skill, the best uh, perk of this uh, tier. Silent Drilling, your drill is, makes 65% less noise. Yeah, and then drill is completely silent. Guards and civilians have to see the drill in order to sound the alarm. Yeah, possibly the uh, second best perk of the uh, of this of this tree. Blast radius, the radius is increased by up to 50%. Well, actually 75%, I think. Moving on. Sentry gun uh, upgrade, which increases accuracy by 100%, and then rotational speed by 150%. Eh, if you're going sentry path, that's pretty good. Am ammo upgrade, and then gives your sh uh, sentry gun a uh, protective shield. Okay. Shape charge, aka the solo. Oops, sorry. You get three additional trip mines in your inventory, and then your trip mines can be used to open safes, doors, everything except for Titan safes, and ATMs, and the uh, sewer green and framing frame day three, two. Day two. Yeah, pretty good. Shockproof. Taser shocks. Attack, taser attacks on you backfire, knocking back the taser. That doesn't happen every time. 
and interacting with an enemy taser while he's electrocuting you will electrocute him, dealing 50% damage to his health. It's not that good. I mean, having them backfire is okay, but that only happens, I don't know how how much, I think only like 40% of the time. It's good, but eh, it's not worth the four points. Bulletproof! Improves your armor so you can so you can absorb 50% more damage. I wonder what that would be useful with. Huh. I wonder. And then your recovery rate for you and your crew increased by 25%. Yeah, that's probably one of the best perks in the game. If you, if you have Iron Man. I was alluding to that, by the way. Mag Plus, your magazine is increased to uh, 15 rounds, extra rounds. That's good if you use a... That's just good. Sentry Gun. Well, a Sentry Tower Upgrade. You can place two sentries instead of one. Damage is increased by 300%. That's where the Sentry Gun shines. If you get all the upgrades for the Sentry Gun, which... Let's see. 8, 6... Oh, no. 12, 24... 32... My math is not working today because I am I'm working off of two hours of sleep. Anyway, if you get all these upgrades, your sentry gun will be incredibly powerful. And moving on to my favorite tree, the ghost. Unlocking it gets you the ECM jammer, which can delay pagers, stop alarms, and open ATMs. The ECM jammer lasts 20 seconds, and... In those 20 seconds, you either have to kill every civilian or do whatever you need to do to keep your everything from going bad. So yeah, let's get started. Dead Presidents gives you 30% more cash. This is good for when you're farming cash, otherwise in the end game, you do not want this. Sprinter, stamina's regeneration is increased by 25%, and the rate it it is regenerated by 25%. And your sprint speed is increased by 25%. And you have 25% better chance of dodging your enemy while moving. That is needed. Just ace this right away. This one blocks 75% of fall damage from non-lethal heights. And then your fall damage is reduced so you only take armor damage from falling from non-lethal heights. And your custody time is reduced by 50%. Ace this first thing you do. Sprinter's good, but ace this first thing you do. That's all you need. Cleaner, you can deal 5% more damage to special enemies. Boring. Or you can bag the, uh, not bag and throw corpses, which is incredibly useful. Chameleon gives you, uh, your concealment is increased by 25%, which is good. And you are 15% less likely to be targeted when you're close to your crew members. They are not more likely to be targeted. That increases your dodge chance. Nothing more. Uh, fast hands. You can bag it, loot bags 25% faster, up to 75% faster. Eh, it's not that good. Shinobi, your walk speed is increased by 25%, and your crouch speed is increased by 10%. Alright. Enemies make 95% less noise when shot or meleeed to death. That will, that will save you some heartache. Martial Arts, you are 50% more likely to knock down an enemy with a melee attack. Eh. You take 50% less damage from melee attacks. Eh. I wouldn't use it. I don't use it. SMG Specialist. Okay. Going off track a little bit. If you uh, use the Compact 5 with the Ninja, you want to use, have SMG Specialist. Because of your rate... Oh, because you, oh wait, doesn't do damage increase anymore? He doesn't do damage increase, I think. Oh, well. So you might want this, you may not then. Increases your reload time with SMG weapons and increases the fire rate. Good. Silent Killer. Does 15% more damage with all silenced weapons. Shotguns, rifles, everything. You want this. I don't have it now because I don't have the points for it, but when I do, I will have it. And then you do 15% more damage and have 15% chance to pierce armor. So that's 30% more damage with still, with uh silenced weapons, and a 15% chance for, to, uh, come on words, 15% chance to pierce enemy armor. Huh. Compact 5. 
with a ninja mod and with uh, damage mods, you can wipe the floor with everything. ECM specialist, you get two C ECM jammers instead of one. And then the uh, durations increased by 25%, and the ECM feedback. Eh. I just put one point in it. If you if you really like the feedback, go ahead and ace it. Nine lives. The, you gain the ability to go and bleed out one more time before going into custody. That is useful. When you go and bleed out, you have a 10% ch chance to get right back up. Yeah, I like this ability. I don't have it right now because I needed the points for this. But yeah, it's good. Lock picking, 25% faster, and then you can crack sa safe silently by hand, and then increases your efficiency or your speed by another 25%. Yeah, you can crack, crack any safe except for Titan safes, but in 40, is it 45 or 40 seconds? I think it's 45 seconds. So yeah, it's definitely one of the best perks of the best perk of the tree. Other than this, ECM overdrive, your ECM duration is increased by 25%, and it's okay. Your ECM jammer can be used to open security doors. Yeah, that's good. That's really, really good. The professional we weapon stability increased by 50%, your accuracy with silenced weapons increased by 50%, and your staff to zoom 100% with silenced weapons. And if you're going with the assassin build, sorry. If you're going with an assassin build, this is good. Otherwise, eh. Okay, now, this tier is... It's... Last tier of the ghost is kind of bad, kind of good. Moving target. You can sprint while strafing, and then you can sprint in any direction. Yeah, that's good, but... Eh. The only thing to really care for is the uh, tier bonus here. Because... That's 30% chance to pierce armor when you have that. Anyway, back to moving target. Moving target is... It's okay. It, I don't think it's worth the points, but everyone has different days. ECM feedback. Alright. ECM feedback is a double-edged sword. It is entire, almost entirely useless other than Big Oil Day 1. Big Oil Day 1, you can apparently use it to uh, stun all the uh, all the gangsters in the house and get all the assets before they burn them. You have to use both of your ECM jammers, and it is not really... Uh, uh, I haven't did it myself, but apparently it's incredibly effective. Otherwise, ECM feedback is not effective at all. At least, as I say it. And then you have Lucky Charm. Lucky Charm increases your... Uh, your chances of getting infamous items and better loot drops in your in the payday system by 250%. With the tier bonus, it's 260. Eh. Again, I don't know if it's worth the points. Alright. Now we're going to take care of the inventory system. Okay, we'll start with the weapons I have on hand. The Amcar, it's not that good. It has a good ammo capacity. Uh, bad magazine. Damage. Eh, it doesn't do that much damage, but... Eh. Overall, it's a good, uh... It's good for what it does. We have the AK, which does tremendous amounts of damage. Lower ammo. Bad stability. Eh, kind of bad concealment. Eh. You can unlock it at level 1, so I take it over the AM car just to do more damage on the lower levels. The car 4 is incredibly accurate, and it does a, quite a bit of damage unless you have it modded. I have it modded, so it does 18 damage. But then again, it's in. Right, let me show you. It's got this unique stealth barrel and everything else. It's a very good stealth weapon. I, I use it for stealth. The Reinfeld is a very good shotgun. Let's you know. Let me show you the detection risk. Ten with the AM car, seventeen with that. Car four nine. Reinfeld twenty six does tons of damage. And it's incredible. It's a it's a it's a good shotgun. AMR sixteen when you need to do damage fast. 
Quite powerful when fully modded. Let's see, what, how much damage? 43 damage. We have the UAR, which... 10 detection risk. It's a very concealable weapon. Eh. Damage 28. Okay, it can be... It can, it's good, but I'll stick to my car 4. The AK-5, which... It's... It's a good weapon. I've got it completely modded. Moscone 12 gauge. Yeah, this weapon is 95 damage per hit. Yeah, it's got for its mods. It's only got two unique mods, which in, which affect, affect concealment. This is a very good weapon. Okay, let's go to the weapons I don't have. Covered this. Covered this. Covered this, covered this. The JP36. Eh, it's got a lot of ammo. Quite a bit of damage, too. 25 is not that bad. Accuracy, concealment, eh, it's good. Alright. AK. I don't know if I covered this one. Do I have the AK7? I don't think I do. Bad ammo count for it. Uh, let's see. Damage, 40, which is actually pretty good for an assault rifle. Accuracy, eh, that's good. Wait, isn't my equipped weapon a shotgun? Yes, it is. Let's go with this real quick. So I can have something to compare it to. Accuracy, alright, same as the uh, Car 4, actually. It's not bad. Stability, eh, concealment, eh, threat. The M308. This is basically a sniper rifle. It's a single-shot weapon. It's only got ten shots. Wait, 10 magazines, sorry. 40, 40 total ammo. Its damage is pretty good. Accuracy, best accuracy, I think, of the assault rifles. It's good for a single shot. I don't prefer, like, single shot assault rifles. Some people do. Moving on. Yzma. Uh, Yzma's got quite a bit of ammo. Good damage. Eh. I don't like the Yzma. I'm just going to put this out. I do not like the Yzma. We have the AK-5. Oh, I've already covered these two. And I've covered this. And then you have the uh, 9000 saw, which we've already been over. No available mods. Alright. Wait, let's use the AK for available mods. Mods are suppressors. for Basically, this is for everything. There will be a unique mods for some items. Stubby. Uh, all These three... Increase your damage, but make it louder. Bigger the better is the uh, silencer. Yep. Tactical laser module. I'm not going to go over all these. Because I don't actually have all of them. So I actually, I'm not going to even do mods. Sorry. Secondary weapons. Okay, we have the Chima Chimano. Chimano, whatever. It's a good low detection pistol. Damage, 13. That's not bad. It's good if you have if you put a sil don't have a silencer on this one. Yeah, I put a standard issue silencer on it. It's a it's an okay weapon. Cross kill does more damage. Uh, the before I get to the cross kill, the Chimano, Chimino, whatever. It has a uh, t total ammo count of 136. That is good for a pistol. Just saying. The cross kill does decent damage. Has good ammo. Accuracy is good. Uh, yeah, that's good. All right, moving on. The Desert Eagle. It's got a total ammo of 30, 30 in clip. Good damage, 45. Naturally, with me, it's 35 because I have the silencer. It's it's a pretty good weapon. It can uh, one shot most law enforcement. Compact five. Okay, I'm going to show the unique one for this. I didn't want to equip it. I wanted to modify it. It's got a uh, foregrip, a unique foregrip called the Ninja. This is a built-in silencer, basically for the uh, for the compact. It's actually better than the other silencers. And then you can have uh, the I bl believe you can have these ones, the tank and the other things. You can't have these, however. Don't know if you can have the other ones. I'm not sure. Another Desert Eagle, which can do 50 damage per hit. If you're good with pistols, you want this. Alright, moving on. Mark 10 submachine gun. It's okay. 
if you if you're going with some machine gun, go with the compact five. Compact five does less damage, but it's get it's more ammo and everything else. Bronco four, Bronco forty four revolver. This is a good weapon. This is a very good weapon. But the thing that kills it, oh wait, no. Let's see available mods. It's it's a good weapon. I don't think it can be uh, silenced though, so you might want to watch out for that. Bernetti 9. Again, good total ammo like the Shimano. Magazine's only 14. Well, 14's not bad. Good damage. It, it's good. Locomotive. This was the worst gun in Payday 1. The absolute worst. They have since made it into one of the uh, best in Payday 2. It's got 30 ammo, 6 in mags, 65 damage, and it's a powerhouse now. Good job, Overkill. Alright, Compact Travel, we've been over that. Paris and Machine Gun. Eh, it does more damage, has less ammo and less magazine capacity. Like I said, if you're going for some machine gun, go with the Compact 5. CMP submachine gun. Good ammo. Well, no. Compact 5's got more. Good damage. Eh. Moving on. Turn off submachine gun. Like I said, submachine gun. Accuracy. Re not actually. Total ammo is only 30, uh, 60, so you have two clips. Otherwise, yeah. Now, the Strike. The Strike is a fully automatic pistol. You got 140 shots with 20 in mag. It, uh, let's see, available mods. It can be silenced. It can be all this good things. It's incredibly good. The Cobus 90. Yeah, this is actually possibly one of the uh, better some machine guns. I, like I said, I like the uh, Compact 5 better. And we've been over the Deagle twice. Armor. Two-piece suit. Best conceal, best way for uh, to go in stealth nowadays. You have no protection with this. Ballistic vest. You get 16 uh, viz with everything I have. It's good armor. If you want to go in... Uh, hold on. Let me go to my regular build. Oh, yeah, yeah, that equipped. Okay. Ballistic vest, eh, it could be useful. I mean, if you're going in to a loud mission like Watch Dogs, you want to wear something like this if you don't have this or this. Lightweight ballistic vest, if you want to go uh, in quiet and you do want to have some protection because you're going in on overkill, you want to take this. I mean, it's only a couple extra... Did I not equip that? It's only a couple extra detection risk. Let's see, five extra detection. Eh, not bad. Heavy ballistic vest is better than the ballistic vest, of course. You get more damage, more, uh, you take more damage before your health starts to die. Well, go down. Same with the flak jacket. Flak jacket gives you more, uh, gives you even more. Eh, mouse wheel, why do you, okay. Combined technical vest, same thing. All the armor is basically is an upgrade to each armor. It gives you higher detection risk. And then you have the improved combat vest. You can see it in this. It's an instant uh, instant detection, no matter what. Alright, going to equipment. Ammo bag, we, oh, we've already been over all this in skills. Mask, it doesn't matter. Character, it doesn't matter. Okay, there was something else I wanted to do. Oh yeah, crime net. But I'll take care of that in the, in the next video. Alright, until later. Until later, have fun.